coming out and exploring. So for any of you guys who missed the live stream earlier, I finished building their little house that I'm gonna put them outside in. It's got a hole down here in the bottom, and then there's a hole here, and I put it on a hinge so I can lift it up in case I ever wanna look in. That's kinda of like their escape hole on the bottom in case an animal comes in to try to eat them. They're all finally coming out and exploring tonight. So I put the new home inside of their cage. Hopefully they'll move into it or at least go explore it. I just want them to feel comfortable when they go in there. I don't want them to be like freaked out. And if they, if they go in here in this new house, they'll probably mark it as their territory. So they'll know to always go back there for safety. Kind of like they're doing with the hammock now. Like, they all run back into the hammock for safety, so they know that's their home. But um, if they move into this box, I'm going to remove the hammock. That way I can put them outside, and they can be ready to go. They're so cute. Hey, Ashley, what's up? I'm just trying to see if these guys will move into their new home tonight. Yeah, Selena. <laughs> they're um they're definitely adorable. Yeah, they're all still super shy cuz they're only about a, what is it like a couple months old. Falcor trying to get in the room. Hey, maybe they won't go. Maybe they'll stick around. No, they're not sugar gliders. They're flying squirrels. I made a video about it. If you go back on my channel and watch all the videos about flying squirrels. <laughs> She's exploring it. Oh, she just wants to eat. That's the mom. She's just trying to get some food. And that's one of the babies sticking out there. There's three babies that she had in my bathroom during the winter. So now I gotta move them back outside. But I didn't wanna just throw them all in a tree and hope for the best. That's why I built them this little home and hopefully they'll move into it. Yeah, they are super cute. Yeah, they look a lot like sugar gliders, but they're not. I think she's going in. Is she going in? She's behind the box. I see her in the corner there. Yeah, they're very curious about the new box, but they haven't gone in there yet. I know Falcor just wants to come in and see. He wouldn't do anything to them, but they're going to get freaked out if they see him. They're not going to be okay with a cat nearby. And then they probably won't explore their new house, so I'm just going to leave him outside of the room for now. Yeah, they do have little beady eyes. Perfect for seeing in the dark, huh? I just cleaned up their cage and um, put new food for them and everything today and they already made a huge mess. Look at that. 
I mean, that's just food that they threw around everywhere mostly. But still, they're messy little guys. Good morning, Aaron. What's up? Yeah, Scout would try to eat them if he was still around, but he's not around anymore, so they're in his room. Actually, Scout did try to eat her at one point. Like, not try to eat her, but he smelled her cage and he was trying to get in. Uh, he went into my bathroom one day when I left the door open, and I was in there behind him right away because I saw him go in, and he was scratching at the cage trying to get at her. She wasn't even out. He just smelled her, and he knew that there was some kind of animal in there that he could eat. I got, I think I got some video of it. I never posted it, obviously, because it was him being just a brat, but um, he definitely will eat any kind of rodent-like animal. You're waiting for a coworker. I'm waiting for this flying squirrel to move her babies into this new box we built. And by we, I mean me and Luna, she helped me. You're gonna eat some cocoa pebbles? I wish I had some cocoa pebbles. I don't have any right now. But I would surely eat them with you if I did. You're eating a salad. You're just copying me from earlier. She's just staring. She ain't doing anything. Oh, the baby's on her back. Here laying down enjoying this live stream. I was actually about to go lay down and get in bed. And um, and then I noticed that they were out. So I figured let me put this in here. And I didn't put it in right away after I built it. Because there were some, some screws that were sticking out. I don't know if we, you can see that piece of cotton up there in the top. In the middle of the, of the screen. So that piece of cotton is blocking the, the screws that I didn't cut yet. So that way they can't get hurt. So I figured I was going to wait till tomorrow to put this whole new box inside of their cage. But um, since I saw them out and about, I was like, screw it. Let me just do it now so I can rush this pro uh, process and get them outside as soon as possible. Ashley, I will not trade you these babies for some Cocoa Pebbles. I don't like Cocoa Pebbles that much. <laughs> yeah, they do look happy living here, but I can't leave them here. I know everybody wants me to keep them so you guys can keep an eye on them. But it's not going to happen. I'm going to let them go. I want to see them go out back in the wild. And like I said, who knows? Maybe they'll stick around. And then maybe they'll have some babies. And then next year we'll have even more flying squirrels around. And they'll have a home to go to and hide in without getting hurt. But if you take one and keep it as a pet, then it's never going to breed. I can't keep them because one, it's illegal. And two, they're wild animals. And wild animals shouldn't be kept as pets. It's not fair to them. You think they'd be happy in a cage or locked in a room? I want them to be able to glide around from tree to tree. There's like a bunch of woods back here behind my house. I'm sure they would have so much fun jumping from tree to tree. And it's not like we have a bunch of snakes or anything. So 
I don't have to worry about them getting eaten by snakes. But I would like to see her happy in the wild. I don't want to keep her as a pet. And, like, I think it would be cool to keep her as a pet. But, you know, like, it's not fair to them. That's, they're not... If, if they were born in captivity, that's a different thing. But they, were, they weren't born... Um, like, the mom wasn't born in captivity. So, it's not fair to keep them all. The... The babies are technically still wild. And there's three babies and the mom. Is Scout illegal to have? Well, Scout is illegal to have if you don't have the proper permits. But I did have the proper permits for Scout. Um, some states don't require permits, but most of them do. And some states don't allow them at all. Uh, like if you go to California or something like that, California doesn't even allow you to own a pet like that. Thanks, Solrocky, for uh, subscribing. I appreciate that. But you can't get a license or a permit for a wild animal like this. Like you can rehabilit, you can get like a, a license to rehabilitate animals, but um, it wouldn't entail keeping them as a pet like this, especially when they're not harmed and they're they they don't have any threat. They they're perfectly capable of going back out in the wild. So there's no reason to keep them. Except for the fact that they're super cute. And they would get a free meal every night. But that's not a good enough reason for me to keep them as a pet, you know? Like, if they were hurt or incapable of going back outside, I would keep them. Like, I kept them all winter, right? I kept them all winter because I was, uh, I felt that they were incapable of surviving outside if I threw them back out during the snow. So now, like... They're here, and I'm not happy that they're locked up anymore. It's just, like, I don't feel comfortable with it, you know? I feel bad for them. I mean, they don't seem to have a problem. They're not trying to escape. Like, I've left this open one night. I forgot, and I it was completely open. And they were in here the next morning. They didn't go anywhere. I mean, granted, it was only a few hours, because I didn't sleep all night, but... Um... They, they're definitely not in a rush to leave. They really like the hammock, and they loved the hamper when they were living in there. Yeah, I don't think they're going to come out and explore um, anymore while I'm here talking, so. I'm just going to close that. I'll give them a few more minutes and see if they'll come back out. If they don't, I'm going to end the stream and I'm going to turn off the lights and I'm going to leave them in here and hopefully they'll uh, they'll come out on their own and explore while I'm sleeping and in the morning they'll be in there, hopefully. I don't know. I don't know. That that hammock seems a lot more comfortable than, than this box would be, but I'm hoping they will. Maybe because it's new, they'll like it. I see the little ball at bottom of it moving around and stuff. <laughs> I don't think they're going to come back out now. Alright guys, I know this was like a super late stream for some of you guys, but thank you for coming on and checking it out. I hope you enjoyed watching them come out and explore for a little bit, but I want them to come out and like really explore without me freaking them out. So, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show that I put this in here and I'm going to leave it for them and hopefully they use it. We'll find out tomorrow when I wake up, I'll come back on stream. Uh, I was going to come on earlier and do, do like a gaming stream, like I mentioned. Um, but then I just got like a migraine or something. My head's just been pounding all night. So I ate dinner and stuff, and I took a half of a Tylenol, so now it's my head's starting to feel better. But I figured before I go to bed, let me come check on them, make sure they're all good. I changed their water out because one of the babies pooped in there. And then I figured, fuck you, I'm going to throw this in here. Mary Ingram, thanks for subscribing. What's up? 
I don't know if you're watching the stream, but if you are, thank you. Um, I'm going to go now. <laughs> so I'll see you guys during the daytime after I wake up. You're going to go back <laughs> to uh, watching the other stream. Okay. The one from earlier where I actually built this box. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll talk to you guys later then. Uh, hopefully my head won't hurt in the morning when I wake up. And I'll see you guys then on the next stream. Good night.